If you're struggling to update your data in Airtable using a form, then this video is for you. I'm going to go step by step through how to set up an integration with a software called Form Nano that allows you to access data that's inside an existing database and update it on the fly without having access to the database itself. All of this is going to be done through form and integration uh, links using this software. So if that's of interest to you, stick around and we're going to get into the good stuff. Hi, my name is Gareth Pronovost and I'm the owner of Gap Consulting, where we help businesses get organized and automated using Airtable and Zapier. In this video, as I mentioned, we're going to be taking a look at a third-party software called Form Nano, which allows us to update existing records inside of an Airtable database and manipulate the data that exists inside of those records already. So without further ado, let's jump into my screen here and take a look at what this finished product is going to look like. So at the end of uh, building this, we are going to have a form link for, that is unique for each record, and we can select that form and it's going to give us direct access to the data in that uh, field, or excuse me, in that record. So in this case, if we were to click on Albert Einstein, we would see all of the data that already exists inside of that field for Albert Einstein, and we can make changes as we need. So let's suppose that this phone number was incorrect, or maybe you know the phone number needed to get updated. We could change it to 1500, submit that form, and if we go back into Airtable, we'll see that that data was just changed in real time through the API connection. And so that is the finished product. Let's get into how we're going to actually build this thing. So first I'm going to close out those uh, old forms and we're going to go to formnano.com. And inside of this we can go into our dashboard. Now they have a free version that allows us to do this to up to 10 forms. Uh, we don't get a lot of customization on their free version. They do have a paid plan as well where we can really change the layout of the forms, how they look, and a, you know, a lot of other details. So definitely check that out if you're interested. But they do have a free version that allows us to get what we're going to show off here today. So the first thing we need to do is create a new form. And you'll see here that uh, we need to give the form a name and a description, and we'll link that form to both our Airtable through our Airtable API and also the uh, specific base ID, and then we need to tell it what table this form is living on. And so uh, let's go ahead and build an example of this, uh, but before we get to that, actually let's rewind and take a look at the data that lives inside of here. So I'm going to get rid of this form link and we're going to start from scratch. So this is all independent uh, data with the exception of the full name here, which is a concatenation of the first and last name. But you know they have the ability to update their email address and their phone number as well. Let me go ahead and make that an email type just to be uh, consistent. All right. And so inside of here, uh, you know, this is all data that you know, presumably was entered into a, through a form at some point, or maybe we pulled it in through some other API connection. And we want to give everyone access to their own profile information where they can change their email and update their phone number as needed. All right, so let's take a look at how we would do that. So going into Form Nano, this would be uh, you know, profile information update. And we can give it a description. And here's where we get into the actual API and base ID. Now, Form Nano has put together some really great uh, you know, uh, details for us to go through if you uh, are new to the API documentation. I'm going to go ahead and jump right to it. It's Airtable.com slash API. And first, you need to find your base. So I'm going to do a Control F and just look for Form Nano because that's the name of this specific base that we are going to be connecting to. And inside of here, now we are going to see access to our Airtable uh, information. So we'll drill down into the specific table that we're looking to access. In this case, it's the action items table that I'll click. And you'll see all the different pieces of data here. Uh, if we select just one of these records or fields, list the records, and here we have uh, the information that we need. Now, inside this uh, example request right here, you can find this text. It starts with APP. This is the uh, data that is specific to the base. So if we come back over here, we're looking for that base ID. 
and we can just do a copy here of the app and then everything that's between these two slashes and drop that into the base id and then in order to get our api key we need to click this and we're going to uh, make this visible now this is something you'll want to keep very secret so i'm going to keep mine blurred out but once you click that now there is access right here that says authorization bearer and then there is a new string that begins with key the word key k-e-y so i'm going to grab that with a copy and come back over to the uh, form nano and i'm going to paste that in here to the uh, Airtable api now table is the last part that we need to map to and we need to get this verbatim uh, in terms of matching the uh, the name of our table so our table is called action items with a space in between and capital letters on both of those words now we need to pick what type of form this is is this going to be a new form or or are we updating or editing records for this example we're going to edit records and now we've got everything mapped out we're going to click submit now we're inside here and we can configure the uh, different fields that we're pointing to so we're going to click configure fields and we can add any field that we want to grant access to and again we need to be very careful to match the field name verbatim that we have here inside of Airtable. If we don't get this right, there will be an error when the form is submitted, it won't know where to map to. So let's suppose we just want to allow everyone to update uh, their email and phone number. Let's go ahead and make those changes here. So we'll give them the ability to update email and you can leave some text in here. So please update your email and you can check through these different field types. Now it has text, long text, single select, multiple select. Uh, in the case of phone numbers and other things like that, I'll just keep it as single line text and it'll work just fine. I'll go ahead and uh, update here as well and we'll go with the phone number. And again, make sure that we're matching the name of that field exactly. And then we can put whatever help text we need in here. And that's it. So let's go ahead and submit that. And now the last step is we need to pull this link. So this link, Form Nano is giving us a unique link for our form. We're going to go ahead and run back into Airtable here and uh, this is going to be create link. And now this link needs to be unique for each record and I'll show you how we're going to do that. We're going to create a concatenate formula. And first we're going to use a, you know, double quotes. So that's quote, quote, and inside those quotes is where we're going to paste what we just copied from form nano. So here's that long, uh, URL. This is unique to our form and we're going to actually erase this record ID, including the brackets. So it's going to end with an equal sign. And from here, we're going to add a comma and then type record ID with open and closed parentheses. Now this record ID is actually metadata that lives, it's unique for each of our, uh, you know, each of our different uh, uh, records and it's automatically created when a new record is created. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and click save there and you'll see now that what we have is a unique, um, a unique form for each record. So it's including the record ID for each record and adding it to the end of that form which is going to give each one of these a unique link to go to to update their information. So let's go ahead and test this out. Let's click here and see if we're taken to Renee. And we sure are. Now, if Renee wants to update uh, his um, email address or, or phone number, he can do so right here. Let's suppose that instead this is 9999. We'll click Submit. And we'll go back here and you'll see that that was updated in real time. So this is pretty, uh, pretty elegant solution. Now, as far as how to share this information, that is entirely up to you. You may choose to email this form to your different users or what have you. But this is a great way that you can give people access to updating information inside the database and not give them access to the full database. This has been a long, a long standing limitation for Airtable and uh, having direct access to it in such a, a, a nice and simple way is uh, pretty amazing. So with that, 
I will, uh, I will leave you with that and uh, let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or thoughts about how to use this. All right, as always, I hope you found that to be super helpful. If you did, be sure to click subscribe so you don't miss out on future Airtable content and swing by our website and check out some of the free resources that we've put together for you. We are also available for some consulting calls. If you have some custom work that you're looking to uh, you know, accomplish, definitely reach out and see if uh, you know, we might be able to help. And in the meantime, best of luck as you continue to grow your empire.